So do you also use teleforms to receive any kind of form submissions for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send automated WhatsApp message on teleform submission using WhatsApp Cloud API. So I have created an inquiry form for my business using teleforms and here my objective is that whenever a new form submission is received, then automatically and instantly an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to my lead through WhatsApp Cloud API. So now here to automate the entire process, I need to connect my teleforms with my WhatsApp Cloud API account using an automation software named as Public Connect. So to see the working of this automation and to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So I use teleforms to collect information from my customers and it's important to respond quickly to keep them engaged. So by sending automated WhatsApp message using WhatsApp Cloud API, I can instantly acknowledge their form submission. For example, if someone fills out a form to inquire about my services, they will immediately receive a personalized message thanking them and providing the next steps. This saves me time and ensures my customers feel valued and informed right away, helping me build trust and improve my overall communication process. So now here I've already built an automation where I've connected my teleform with my WhatsApp Cloud API account using an automation software. And now here firstly in this video we are going to see the working of this amazing automation that I've already built by simply making a form submission over here. So this is my teleform and here my objective is that whenever I'm going to make a form submission over here or you can see that whenever I'm going to receive a form submission through this particular form then automatically the person who has made the form submission should receive an automated personalized WhatsApp message on his or her WhatsApp number. So now here I'm going to make a form submission over here. So here you can see some pre-filled data over here so here for the phone number I'm going to add my own phone number so that I can receive a whatsapp message over here and now here after entering my own phone number I'm going to click on this register and here you can see done your registration is completed that means we have successfully made an query form submission over here so now let's go and check our whatsapp and here you can see we have successfully received a new WhatsApp message with the name Hi Dummy User. Thank you for submitting the form. We have received your details and we'll get back to you shortly. In the meantime, if you have any urgent questions, feel free to reply to this message and we'll be happy to assist you. Best regards, ABC Company. So this is the new personalized message that we have received on our WhatsApp. And with this, we have successfully seen the working of this automation. And now here in this video, we are going to learn step by step that how you can create this amazing automation by simply connecting your teleform with your WhatsApp Cloud API account using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. So here on my screen, you can see Pabli Connect's home page and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect slash aina slash in your browsers. And here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in, here you can see all Pabli apps window, where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, here I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So I'm going to give the name as send automated WhatsApp message on telephone submission using WhatsApp Cloud API. So this is my workflow name and then here it is asking me to select the folder. So here in the left side corner of this dashboard, you can see a folder section under which you can see the multiple folders that I've created with different names to save my workflows accordingly. So here in this particular case, I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select the folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more hyperlink given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. 
So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen, you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Teleforms as I'm receiving new form submissions through Teleform. So Teleforms is a simple and a user-friendly tool for creating online forms. It's great for collecting information, feedback or registrations without any coding. People use Tele because it's easy to set up, looks professional and works seamlessly on any device. So here in my Tele trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as new response. So that whenever I'm going to receive new response through my Teleform, then automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. Or you can say automatically this entire workflow is going to get triggered and now here after selecting my trigger event i have received a webhook url that means here i'm going to use this webhook url to connect my teleforms with babli connect so i'm following the instructions given below firstly here i'm going to copy this webhook url and here i've already logged in my teleform account so this is my tele account and here under home you can see both the forms that i've created with different names over here so here in this particular case i'm going to use a form which is named as inquiry form so here i'm going to open it and from here, I'm going to click on this integrations given over here. And here in the integrations, I'm going to select my type of integration that is webhooks over here. So I'm going to click on this connect. And then here it is asking me add a webhook endpoint. That means here in this endpoint URL field, I need to enter the webhook URL that I've received in my Pabli's workflow. So this is the webhook URL. And then I'm going to click on this connect given over here. So with this, we have successfully set up a webhook inside our tele form. Or you can say with this, we have successfully connected our Teleform with Pabli Connect. And now here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to generate a test response in our Teleform. So for that, let me take you back to my Teleform account. And from here, I'm going to click on this share. And from here, I'm going to copy the shareable link. And then I'm going to open it in a new tab. So this is my form and here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first theme, I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as user, email as test at the rate pabritudes.com and a random phone number. And here for the city, I'm going to select the city as Bhopal and the country as India. And then I'm going to click on this register. And with this, you can see we have successfully made a form submission over here. So now let's go and check out Pabli's workflow. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the first name, last name, email, phone number, city, country and some other details as well. So with this, we have successfully set up our trigger over here. So once we have received new response to our teleform, I want to send an automated WhatsApp message to the person who has made the form submission. So for that, I need to connect my WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect in order to send the automated WhatsApp message in this action step given over here. So in this action step, I'm going to select my action application as WhatsApp Cloud API. So WhatsApp Cloud API is a tool that allows businesses to connect with their customers via WhatsApp through the cloud. It makes it easy for companies to send messages, notifications and updates directly to their customers' WhatsApp account. So here in my WhatsApp Cloud API action step, I'm going to select my action event as send template message. So that when never are going to receive new response through a teleform, then automatically using a template, automated WhatsApp message is going to be sent to the person who has made the form submission through WhatsApp Cloud API. And now here to connect my WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select a new connection. If your WhatsApp Cloud API account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection it is asking me to enter the token phone number id and whatsapp business account id so basically to get all these details you need to set up your whatsapp cloud api account first and to learn how to set up your whatsapp cloud api account you have to click on this learn more hyperlink given over here and by clicking on this it will take you to a forum window where you can 
see a tutorial of how to set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account step by step. So by seeing this particular tutorial, you can learn how you can create or set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account step by step. So here I'm going to move back to my Pabli's workflow. And now here to build this connection and get all these details, I've already set up a temporary WhatsApp Cloud API account using Meta for developers. So this is my WhatsApp Cloud API setup. And here you can see I've received the access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So here I'm going to generate the access token and here I'm going to connect my Facebook account first and here you can see I've received the access token so now I'm going to copy all these details and paste in my Pabli's workflow. And now here after entering all the required details I'm going to click on the save given over here. And here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the template name. So here in this template name field, I need to select the template name using which I want to send an automated WhatsApp message to my leads or you can say the customers. So here to get this template name, let me take you back to my cloud API setup again. And here in step two, you can see it says to create your own message template, click here. So I'm going to click it over here. And now here under message templates, you can see all the templates which I've created over here with different names. And if you want to learn how to create your own message template, then you can check out the video on our YouTube channel. So here in this particular case, I'm going to use my template which is named as query message. So I'm going to open it for you. And here you can see the message which I have drafted which says Hi Wan, thank you for submitting the form. We have received your details and will get back to you shortly. In the meantime, if you have any urgent questions, feel free to reply to this message and we will be happy to assist you. Best regards, ABC Company. So this is the message which I have drafted and here you can see I have used a variable in the place of name. That is because here I have warned that whenever I am going to receive a new inquiry through my form, then automatically this person name should be updated with the new one. Variables makes our text dynamic and you can add multiple variables in your draft. So this is the message template and now here after getting the template name, let me take you back to my Pabli's workflow and here for the template name, I'm going to select my template name as query message. Now here after selecting this template name, automatically this language code and selected template ID will be updated. And then here it is asking me to enter the recipient mobile number. So here in this mobile number field, I need to enter the mobile number to whom I want to send this WhatsApp message. So now here instead of entering the number manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response that I've received in my trigger step. Mapping makes the text dynamic so that when you're going to receive new response through our teleforms, then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So now here for the recipient mobile number, I'm going to map the phone number of my lead. So this is the phone number. And then here it is asking me for the body field one. So in this body field one, I need to map the value of my variable that I've used in my template. So here I've already shown you that I've used a single variable in my template and that is for the name. So here I'm going to map my lead's name. So here I'm going to select first name first, space, then the last name. And now here after entering all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. But here before clicking on the save and send test request, I'm going to replace this dummy user number with my original number so that I can receive a WhatsApp message over here. And now here after entering my own phone number, I'm going to click on the save and send this request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response. That means we have successfully sent an automated WhatsApp message on my phone number. So now let's go and check it. And here you can see we have successfully received a new WhatsApp message with the name Hi Test User and the similar body that says thank you for submitting the form. We have received your details and we'll get back to you shortly. In the meantime, if you have any urgent questions, feel free to reply to this message and we will be happy to assist you. Best regards, ABC Company. So this is an automated personalized WhatsApp message that we have received and with this we have successfully set up our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Telly and our action as WhatsApp Cloud API so that when you are going to receive new response through our tele forms, then automatically and instantly an automated WhatsApp message is going to be sent to the person who has made the form submission using a template message through a WhatsApp Cloud API. Okay, so these were the steps to how to send automated WhatsApp message on Teleform submission. I hope these steps were clear to you. Now, if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. So now if you have any doubt, then you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any query, then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can 
simply visit our website that is www.pavli.com. So now if you liked our video, then please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.